and gentlemen, welcome to Sizzle and Spice. Of course, I'm your host, Junine Edwards, and I am super excited because today we have none other than Chef Shirlene Batiste. <laughs> so, Shirlene Batiste, how are you? Hi. Welcome to Sizzle and Spice. Thank you. It's now, Shirley, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been doing this? Um, it's probably 14 to 15 oh years. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Professionally. So yeah. you're a veteran then? Mm, far from. <laughs> <laughs> I love but, that. I love the humble attitude, you yeah. know. You're in it a long time, but you're still saying, you know, I have a lot, a lot to learn work. still. Correct. Yeah? So today, what will we be cooking? We will be cooking a ch grilled chicken lasagna. Grilled chicken lasagna. Now you know you say a lot of things there that I love. I love chicken and I love lasagna. Yes. Of course, I have my way of doing it, and I'm yeah. be, I'm gonna be a sous chef today. Yay. So you just let me know what I need to do to help you sure. as we get started. No problem. So first, you must have your mise en place. Also today we have we're adding a little flair to the lasagna. So we're gonna add some grilled peppers right. and grilled onions as well to okay. it. Um, so we're going to boil our pasta. Make sure your water is boiling with right. some salt. Then we're going to season our ingredients. I love to season everything. So just to add a little more flavor, we have our chicken there. And so we're going to marinate and just cook it and let's get this thing started. All right, so what should I help you with first? You can prep. So okay. I, I want you to cut a pepper, bell pepper for me. It's already washed. Bell pepper? Yeah. Okay, I could do that. I could yeah. do that. I could do that. So this is your knife oh, here. Oh, look at me. I yeah. could do this, yes. <laughs> so and how, you can how would you that? like me to um, cut it? Dice it? Uh-huh. Cut oh. this down? Yeah. Okay, like this. Yeah. Yes. So all you really need is the pepper itself. Yes, I just need the pepper itself. Pretty cool. okay. So I'm going to put some water here so we can... Well, I did it. Yes. That's, that's easy. Yeah, that was easy. And just stick Should on the little white inner piece. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Sure. So my love, Chef Batiste, what's your favorite thing to make? I know we are making our grilled okay. chicken lasagna, but <laughs> what is like your specialty? You know that um, meal that... Hey. That is your thing. You could really make that. Tell me. I love to do salmon. There's this stuff, salmon with um, <sighs> shrimp, Cajun shrimp with cream cheese. What? And yeah, I love to do So why are you making lasagna? <laughs> why do that for? No, nah, oh, to be to honest. Back. You have to come back and make <laughs> that. The staff wanted me to do that. Oh, they chose they, this. They chose okay, this. So okay. I was like, okay, no problem. So you all chose this over the, the salmon, salmon and, right? and shrimp? What? <laughs> all right, that's okay. That's okay. I love, love, love anything seafood. Right? Trust okay. me. All right, so what do I do with my beautiful so sweet peppers? So in a bowl. And that's it, right? I don't yeah. need to cut it any smaller? No, that's perfect. Okay. And you're gonna peel the onion as well for me. Mm -hmm. Just cut half. And it's a big onion. Yeah, it is. And then you're just gonna put that same half there. And you're gonna season with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, mm -hmm. and salt, pepper. It has some oregano here as well. So we're just gonna just have fun with the seasonings. Right. Right. Oh, how do you want the onions in slices? Oh, that's when we just cut them in some wedges. Okay. And that's perfect. Okay, sure. Yeah. Wedges. You know I mean? Right, so you peel off the skin as well. And some olive oil. Oops. I hope I did a good job. I'm trying to be a very good yes, sous chef. Yes, you please. are doing a pretty good job. Now tell me, what is uh, what is something or who is someone that you would love to cook a meal for? Internationally, I think I'm maybe Bobby Flay. Oh, He's really? really cool. Yeah, okay. I like him as well. Um, Locally, anybody. I'm just, I'm pretty humble. I, I, yeah. If I get the opportunity to cook for anyone and to bless them with, with my hands and my, my skills, I'm good. Okay, I'm that's good. awesome. I love your personality and <laughs> attitude. So Thank humbling. You. I love that. Any advice to young persons that might be looking up to you? You know, I, I don't know if you uh, attended schools culinary here locally. School. Yeah, so, so I went you to could... culinary school and, um, Sugar, um, sugar Ramas, but they're no more, they're no longer active. Yes. Unfortunately. Um, but there is a culinary institute in Shagonas and also in Tobago. So if they do, we decide this is their desire, this is your passion, um, I would suggest those two um, institutes. Mm -hmm. But you really have to have a passion for cooking and a love for it. Yeah. Because this takes a lot of you physically, mentally. Oh. Um, but once you love it, it becomes a joy. So for me, it's, it's something I definitely love. 
I can't help myself, <laughs> but to be in the kitchen, even if I buy someone, I'm like, I'm usually being in help. Oh, you know? wow. oh wow, I need to have you over all the time then. <laughs> tell us a little bit about your culinary journey. You said you studied locally. Uh, tell yep. us a little bit about that while we get the stoves lit right. and everything for <laughs> our meal. Yes, um, my culinary journey started in 2007. I started at hotel school. And from there, I worked locally. Oh, yes, thank you. So we put the oil in the pasta pots. Yes, that's to help it from not sticking. sticking. And much salt. Yes. Great. Right, and from there, so I worked um, Moscovado cruising. Wow. And then I went internationally on a cruise line. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I did there for two years. And then I came back to school. I came back here and I studied in UE. So I have um, a double degree in food and nutrition management and nutritional science. Oh, so I do that. a double major. Well, congratulations <laughs> to you, Chef. Thank you. Come on, that is great achievement. Yeah. So let me just give you a little a family secret. I hope my dad does not crucify me for this, but my dad makes lasagna with uh, bygone. So yeah. he, he slices the bygone really, really thin, and instead of pasta, pasta he uses he it. uses the bygone, yeah, and, and it tastes so good. And I'm not even a fan of bygone, but I do that, that as well too, so so just good. to switch it up for them. Yeah, yeah instead of having to. What what types of substitutes would you recall for a meal like this? Maybe to a vegan, vegetarian, anybody that might be looking to get into this. Um, well, everything. That? Yeah, if you can put some oil in this. Yes. Um, you can see oh, oil there, oil yeah, there, oil here. Oil here. Okay. Should so I... somebody who's vegan, this is pretty much vegan except for the chicken part. Right. Um, so just omit the chicken. Um, but like you said, you suggested the eggplants. So yes. You can use eggplants. You can use any type of veg. Zucchini is a nice substitute as well. So you can do eggplant zucchini grill. Mm -hmm. And. Layer it so as you have your pasta, you put your, your tomato sauce and you put your veggies, and then you make that layer as you go along. And then you can also nice. add the oat milk. You can thicken it same way with um with your roux, or I call it a, the cheat way, is a slurry. Okay. We actually take flour and olive oil and you mix equal parts, and you put it and you whisk it in, and it actually thickens the sauce faster than um, actually going through the whole process of a roux. So if it is like you're not an expert in the kitchen, the slurry is perfect for that. Right. So yeah, you can go ahead and put it on your grill. Should I put them the yeah, anyway, side on or anyways, this side? Yeah, any side that you want to put, because they both sides have to get grilled. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a little sizzle. I heard a little sizzle. I heard so that's a little good. sizzle. I heard little sizzleies. So we have the chicken breast to the back here. So I'm gonna. This has to grill too? The chicken breast? Yes. So we're just gonna marinate just one. I think I made a boo boo with the onions. That's fine. They are not, they are not how. They're not in the, in the, in the dice that you, you let me do it for this you. And it's gonna cut up and pasta layered anyway. So we have our chicken breast here. I will help you season that. Yes. Lovely. Yeah, you're the best to chef. Oh, thank you. I can you. hire you. True? <laughs> yes. Oh, what do you have to go through to be a sous chef? Can I really just be hired like that? <laughs> Is it that easy? It's, no. No, it's actually you have to go through the same process. Oh, like everybody true. else. Yeah, but it's, yeah. It's all good. So our tomato, our sauces that we're gonna use today is um, a tomato sauce. Yeah. Um, this is the easy way to do it. You, you don't wanna have to go through the whole long process of making an entire tomato sauce from scratch. Yeah, who wants they make, that? They're making life easy for us. Yeah, who wants so that? So we use that, we just add a little tomato paste, we flavor it up with some of our local seasons, the pimento, the garlic, our onions. We add a little bit of oregano in it as well. Yeah. We mix that. Um, we have our happy cooking cream that we use as a cheat as well. So, because I'm not going to make a bachelor sauce so from scratch. Oh no, so much on, work. no. So simply simple ways to buy one of these. You add some peppercorn, 
You add your onion, you saute that and some bay leaves. This is smelling real nice. Smell nice, yeah. real <laughs> nice. It's real and, nice. I like and it. And then um, as it starts to see little bubbles around the edges, mm -hmm. we add we make our slurry. Um, we add that, we whisk it in slowly, and it will start to thicken, and then we start layering with our veggies, the pasta, veggies, sauce, cream, cheese. We're gonna have a good time today. Yeah. So now we're going in with the chicken. Yes. Oh, that looks so nice good. Yeah. Oh, love me some chicken breast. I can't wait to make that with you. I want you to come back on and make that that, that That's fish you were talking about. That salmon stuffed with shrimp. With shrimp. Oh, with I love passion fruit glaze. Passion fruit glaze. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's Something like new. 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 It's ready for um, garnish purpose. True. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's just to make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's so cute and perfect. Yeah, that's good. See so them here? Yeah, she can leave And them you right. can use my big cleaver and be careful and dice. You know I know how to use these things? This big yeah. cleaver thing? Yeah. All right, so what to do with it? Just. Yeah, just take your oh time my. and dice. Yeah. Like Is it this? cut in there for you? Yes, yeah, okay. I can do it. Good job. If not, if you want to, this is easier for I you to use. I think I want to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so I feel uh, that is my, my go-to there. Yeah. So I'm just, just putting them. Just cut it anyway. And this small big this guys. This smells so good. Yeah. I want to dive in and have a bite. So you see the water boiling. So I'm just going to add like. a few. And the pasta sheets. One good method of doing it, um, so that they don't stick, is that you cross them. Okay. Right? And you put them in the pot. And it will just go down. Don't interfere. It will just start to slide because you don't want the pasta sheets to break. Okay. But to stay as full as possible. Sounds great. Yeah. I learned a little bit, man. I learned a little bit of something, man. Mm -hmm, plenty. I can make lasagna after this. Yes. <laughs> Right, so right now just cooking off the chicken as want it to be as cooked as possible. Yeah. And the pasta is boiling. So yeah, we just had to kind of wait it out a little bit. All right. Cool. Yeah. So we have the butterfly this next, right? Yes. That's what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Oh, All I right, see. guys. Well, stay tuned. We will be right back and we're gonna be butterflying and stacking and layering this grilled chicken lasagna yeah. right here on Sizzle and Spice. Sizzle and Spice, let's cook it right, let's cook it right. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. Enhance the space with extreme moment tiles, crying limited. Get porcelain, ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space space and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. Enhance the space with extreme moment tiles, crying limited. Get porcelain, ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space space and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299-3271 for more info. It's time for a little twist. Twist flavored juice drink loaded with vitamin C. Now available in flavors orange, cherry, apple, cranberry, lemonade, and pink grapefruit. Available nationwide. What's life without a little twist? Manufactured by Brava International and distributed by West Indian Traders. 
Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti, and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits, and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. chicken lasagna yes. and uh, you told me we're gonna do something real fancy but before we jump into that mm -hmm. I want to have a little cheers with you okay right? we got something really nice Ooh, fancy. in our glass a little something fancy. special so cheers to you cheers to, you. Cheers to being a female in the industry and yes. making amazing food thank and being you. a personal chef and thanks for coming on Sizzle and Spice thank you so much thank you You're for inviting welcome. me mm. all right so we are going to learn to butterfly yes, a chicken breast. breast. Yeah. Okay, so show me, because I don't know anything about that. So because the breast is it's a big, it's a bit large. Right. So just pulling, he's been song just for, for security, see? Yeah, because inside that, it's very, it's, it's very so raw. Raw, yeah. yeah. Look at that, how nice. And then it's gonna flip it Ooh. right here. Mm. So now it's gonna cook evenly right. throughout. We don't want to get sick. No way! No, we don't want that. So, are we? Should I take out the yes, pasta? Yes, you can take out the pasta. I rinsed all the tongues for you okay. already. So you can take it out and you can put it in this dish sure. right here. This one here. Yeah. Right. I will hold it for you. While you just take it out. Oh, beautiful! How oh, nice! Should I take off the stove? Yes, you can. Oopsie! I made it fall. That's okay. I made it rip. I'm so sorry. That's fine. We, we, it's going to be work. We work it. Okay. Okay, drop it. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. So you take a little olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah, just sprinkle it all so it doesn't stick. Right. So give it a little zhuzh. A zhuzh. Yeah. That's it. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. So we have to make the sauce. I just brought this pot out so we can start making our, you know, cheat way of making a roux of okay. the vaginal sauce. Well, yeah, let's jump into that. Let's jump into that for sure. You can put some um, oil. Bay, yes, put a little oil, oil and the bay leaf. Oil and the bay leaf. Yeah, cut one of the bell pepper, of the pimento pepper. You just cut it in half. I'm putting it in there. Put one of these in it? Yes, please. Cut it in half. Yep. Just leave it in holes just to give some flavor. Like this? Yeah. And you can take the one clove of garlic, peel it, and then you're gonna add it to that as well. Clove of garlic. I got right. you. So I'm gonna help you remove your chicken because it's good now and smell it. Put any bowl here to rest. Okay. With this? Yeah, with the lids. True. Chill out a little bit. Take a little minute, so a few okay. seconds. And as soon as it starts, you have a little sizzle. You can just start with skin. So everybody gets a nice coat of the oil, and yeah, and then we're gonna add our heavy cream. Add a little full of cream milk. If you don't have enough heavy cream, you can just probably actually use half the box. So you don't okay. have to use all. So we are gonna so add, add in some heavy, heavy cream. cream. Ooh. Okay. The French came up with everything, so we're gonna ask the French all why. Right. Why is this heavy <laughs> cream? <laughs> oh, this smells so yummy. Mmm. Yeah. 
And in the meantime, you're doing that. So right. light here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of flame. It's a lot of sizzling happening there. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to be honest. I do love the kitchen, but I am not. I'm not good at turning on gas stoves. <laughs> that is not my thing at all. Yes. I grew up with I grew up with electric stoves, right? Oh, so nice. Lighting a gas stove for me has always been like. Oh, I find okay. those electric um, stores be so tricky. It's like, which one is True. like, especially flat tops. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh my God, which one is what? No, I know, I, I, know, I know out. chefs love the flame. Yeah, because yeah. Because they say it yeah, tastes different. And then also you're able to control the flame. Like if you want it really low, if you yeah. want to, I think I'm actually seeing the flame itself helps. Right. So, oh, we need to add some oil for us. So this is for our tomato sauce. Okay. Or marinara, as you will the right word. All right. Just add a little bit of garlic. garlic. And more here. I just turned up this room. This room is to hurry up. Yeah, so you need room. to hurry up. Yeah. Room. Come on now. <laughs> add this, add a little pimento. Add a little piece of the onion. Okay, and when this when I bring this to a boil, because I'm now seeing the little Some bubbles. Little bubbles. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna do the equal parts of flour and oil, olive oil. Very good, that ding. <laughs> <laughs> that was my um that was the timer. That was the timer, right? Yeah, that was the timer. That was the timer telling us it's time we to make to, this yeah, marinara. We need to hurry up. We yeah. We have several timers in the kitchen. And, and chefs use the timers, it's very yeah, helpful, yeah? It is, yeah. especially when, you, when you're multitasking. Exactly. So, it's very good. So, we allow this to saute a bit. Yes. And we have some of our tomato sauce here. Ooh. So, we're going to add Already. this. Yep. Ooh. Just going to flavor it up a little bit. Mmm. These pots working real fast. <laughs> very <Well>, nice. <laughs> So here we have our equal parts of flour and oil. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Mm, mm. <laughs> that looks so good. So let's load on here because it milk tends to burn quite quickly. Right. So now, as I pour this, she's stirring. Beautiful. This is a cheat way. Don't all the chefs. I see you giving me eyes. <laughs> I'm. This is a cheat way. <laughs> And I just have to get thicker, quicker. To get thicker, quicker, yeah. Right, okay. I like to add a little brown sugar to the tomato sauce. It's a yeah, bit acid. Yeah, it's so acid, yeah. yeah. So, so let's cut it a bit. What's the best add... way to cut acid? Is it with the sugar? Yeah, brown okay. sugar. Um, what helps with... So if you put fresh tomatoes as well, mm -hmm. it helps. So oh, roux so is we... done, well, sauce is done. We can start assembling, but before we start assembling, we have to cut the chicken. Cut the chicken, okay. Okay, we'll take this and put this over here. Hello, chicken. Nice. And let's put it in cubes. Yes. I can do that. Mm-hmm. If you want a sample, you can sample it. Well. True. Have fun. I mean, why not? <laughs> really? <laughs> but tell me that's enough. Chicken looks really good. Cooked all the way through, so what's important? Is it still hot on your hands? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. Hot. Beautiful. So we already have our pasta here. She's gonna do a layer for teaching purposes so that those who are viewing can actually see, you know, how to layer the lasagna. Yeah. Right, so we have our sheets here. So you're going with our tomato sauce. This looks so good. Right. Oh, let's, so take, let's take it. Let's put it in the, in the center so okay. you don't have to go all, all the way back. Oh, thank you. Then we're going to add then the, uh, the veg. Yes. And the... Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, yeah. And then... Hold up, what we put in? The sauce. The roux. Yes. The, the, roux. the white sauce. The white sauce. Look at me pour <laughs> my roux, puppy. Look at me. Look at me pour the roux. Yeah. Look good at job. that. It's so sexy. Yes, me. I can do the roux. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Good. I yeah, did it. Yes, I yes. And oh. now oregano. little oregano. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add our cheese. And then we do some cheese. And we repeat this step until we come to the top of the dish. Yeah. How big your dish is. Oh yeah, I love this. So we're gonna continue in layer right after this break, guys. This is how we do it on sizzle and spice. Sizzle and spice, let's cook it right, cooking right, cook it right. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. Brighten your complexion, protect your skin from the sun with Vico Turmeric Vanishing Cream for all skin types, even babies. Use pimples, cuts, burns, insect bites, eczemas, even chicken pox. Remove sunburn, dark spots, keeps you radiant all day. Vico Turmeric Face Wash cleanses like no other cleanser. Removes makeup, deep down dirt, blackheads, and dead skin cells. Available at all Pennywise stores, pharmacies, supermarkets, cosmetic counters, and super farm stores. Agents Modern Craven Enterprises Limited. Be sure to look for Modern Craven's logo on general Vico products. Having water moves, Gold's Water Technology is the solution this dry season. Kelvin Ghani Enterprises introduces our range of gold pumps where reliability meets innovation. Our state-of-the-art pumps ensure uninterrupted water supply for your needs. Whether it's residential use, commercial use, with Gold's you can count on efficiency, durability and peace of mind. Choose Gold's Water Technology, the trusted solution for all your pumping needs. Available nationwide, distributed by Kelvin Ghani Enterprises Limited. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. spice and it's getting to the part that I love the part where we can finally eat the lasagna <laughs> is in the oven just now we're gonna hear that ding and that's gonna signify it's time it's to ready. eat but before we get to that mm -hmm. I want to ask you a couple questions now you mentioned you're a personal chef yeah um, that's one of the things that you do besides mm -hmm. that tell me what what are you into what businesses are you into so um, like I mentioned before I'm self-employed the name of my business is chefs nutrition so it's with an S yeah. um, I do daily meals, so for those who I want to gain weight, lose weight, maintain weight, mm -hmm. and so that's Monday to Friday, and then I also go to clients' homes as a personal chef as well, and I provide that service. Wow. So if you're looking for me, you can look for me on IG at chefs underscore nutrition, and my contact number is 706-9518. You can DM me to get some more information. Um, I'm flexible, I'm here to help, especially with those who have non-communicable disease. 
Um, I believe that I can actually revisit. I had clients before where I cook for them who have hypertension or diabetes wow. and we reverse their really? health condition. Yeah. No, I'm uh, I'm very excited about this. So tell me what you're gonna do so with, that the, the, with pasta. the sleeve. Pasta. It's yeah. just give it a little garnish. It's the easy garnish. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? The lasagna is ready. I mean, I made it dingo off a little yeah, earlier, ready? but the lasagna, <laughs> the lasagna is ready, people, and I'm excited. Yes. So let me so have you take it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, lasagna. Yes. Hello, baby. Yes, me. Wow. So that looks so great. Yes. So All right. Your favorite part. Here you go. And oh, meat. my. Ooh. It's like I'm feeling like a queen here. I know people. <laughs> All right, let me get my plate. Let me get a plate to help you out. Yeah. Do you want wow. a big piece, corner piece, middle piece? What was your favorite piece? Um, any, any piece. Any piece. Any piece. <laughs> I'm not all right, um, so picky at all. Yeah, no, no, no. I just have. So I'm gonna get a nice middle picky. piece for you. Uh, was just a small piece? No, a middle piece. Oh, a middle so piece. Need a small so piece. Try to take out this one here. Try for me. to take it out. Okay, I could do that. Okay, let's try, everybody. Let's try to get it up. Let's try to get it up. Oh my gosh, look all the peppers that I cut up earlier. Yeah. Looking so lovely. Oh yes. I did it. I you did it. I did it. <laughs> Should I do another one? Yes. Or would you like try. to try? Yeah, no? Go ahead. I you you did a good job and I'll help with the garnish. Okay. I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> you did a good job today. Thank Very you. good. A. E. Pass. Let me just rest a little parsley here. How pretty is that? Simple and pretty. You don't have to be a, a chef to, to know your way in the kitchen, huh? I know you just doing. have to love what you do. Good. I that left it. Good. I left it. Careful. I left a piece of chicken. Yeah, the bottom in that. No. It's all right, no. That's okay? Yeah, don't worry. We'll eat that off. We'll eat that off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. So you need to get some folks and, yes. and let's jump in. Mm -mm. My favorite part of this show is sizzle <laughs> and spice. I love you. <sighs> ah, blessings, blessings. Look at yes. Make sure you get everything. Say, everything. A, a quick grace before meals there. Grace. Mmm. 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 You're hired. <laughs> You're hired. I hired you. Hired <laughs> me. This is your recipe. It is so good. You're hired. It's so good. Oh my goodness. It tastes like, like I have one in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Let me describe it for you. So it's very rich. I like the roux. The roux made it very creamy. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. I love that. And the chicken. Mm. It tastes a little bit. Yeah, it tastes hard. Mm. Mm. And the vegetables as well. It tastes it. That makes it so different. Yeah. I've never had a lasagna. Really Quite as tasty as this, yeah. Oh, thank you. No, it's really, really delicious. Thank you so much. I wouldn't fib to you. <laughs> a lot of people just put a lot of meat and think, all right, mm. that's good lasagna. But no, they need to be schooled by Chef Batiste. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we do it, my beautiful friends, right here on Sizzle and Spice. Mm -mm -mm. Bye. Sizzle and Spice is the perfect spice. Oh, yeah. Sizzle and Spice, let's cook it right. Cook it right, cook it right. From morning till the night. Day and night, day and night. Don't miss a bite, it's gonna be hot, gonna be hot. Sizzle and Spice, the flavors. You're watching CNC3.